<sighs> well, guys, as you can tell, our cabin is no longer the same cabin. So I told you uh, just a second ago that we do not live in the cabin anymore um, and We've been living in our new house for a little while now, but I haven't got to show you all Houston wanted to take you on a quick tour of our new house and uh, we also have a few new friends That I wanted to show you. So yeah, we got rid of the farm uh, We left the cabin because it was too small for us So uh, Houston wants to show you around and show you our new our new home. So let's uh, take a quick tour and show you everything here Okay, so first things first, it is uh, fall, um, so we're getting ready for Halloween, so you're going to see a lot of that, but let me show you the front yard real quick, and uh, everything about that. So, not in the country anymore, we are actually on a pretty uh, main road, but uh, we have our Halloween decorations up, so don't mind those, Houston wanted to decorate this year. Anyways, here's our front of our house, but our front yard it's not too huge um it's pretty close to the road actually but that's just kind of a, a look of it um anyways i'm gonna take you around the back where the best part about it is so we've been doing some cleanup so there's some trash and stuff we're still kind of getting into our home um getting settled in and i won't show you the um, inside yet because that's a surprise i'm going to show you everything once we get it all situated and uh, how we have it all we'll show you all that now uh we're thinking maybe five to ten years at this place maybe longer who knows but uh right now it's just a place that we can expand our um living space and enjoy our family time and you know just have a better environment there so the dogs have made this a mess and yes i said dogs we have some new friends that i will show you in a second but anyways show you some of the back here real quick so i told you that the back's kind of a mess we're going to do a lot of work to this next summer um uh, i am putting in an electric dog fence right now i had it going all the way around the property um but what we're gonna do this time is kind of cut it a little shorter here so they can't get to our patio set so here's our backyard it's got two buildings on it one uh we put our um, equipment and everything in i'm gonna make a couple videos on our lawnmower that i have in there uh our grill i'm gonna give you a video of that and some other things that we have but I just wanted to give you a big kind of overall view of everything. Now, here's our dog. So this is Camino, a chow chow. He's getting so big. I wish I could have showed you him when he was a puppy. Uh, of course, Everest, our husky. And then we have another chow chow, Jazzy. She's getting big as well. They're brother and sisters. And then we have our lab, Daisy, who is huge now. She used to be a tiny little puppy. And now she uh, attacks me all the time. But anyways, that's our animals. Houston in his Jeep and uh now we have a barn back there i did a little garden there this year but it didn't i mean it did work but it wasn't nothing fancy i'm gonna go through knock that barn down because it's falling apart anyways and we're gonna put in a better garden so we did buy this patio set and we're gonna use this kind of stretch of yard here um for all of our picnics and family get-togethers that's why i'm putting the dog fence here so they can't go past that um anyways we have an acre of land here we have some really nice neighbors um th these people across the road they own the farm all around us i won't show any of their privacy or nothing like that but uh we have our little patio set so our patio set set up here it's got sorry houston's getting beat up by the dogs let me go get him okay anyway so this is our patio set we just bought this really cheap at lowe's uh this year we got a cheap table set from walmart and uh some outdoor chairs along with it that we put at our little little fire spot i'm gonna go and make a fire here in a minute kind of show you that cheap little fireplace we got from walmart that's my grill i'll give you a good video on that because i love it to death and uh we'll get to all that stuff over there in a minute uh, we got this cool little light fixture to put up in there so here's where i told you we had our uh, little garden which i mowed it all over now so you can't see it but it was right here next year we're gonna go through bush hog all this down and uh, get rid of this barn here that's falling apart so let me let me show you this falling apart riggedy barn inside here yeah not looking too pretty he's had better days so we're gonna knock that down and uh, get all rid of that once we get rid of all this brush here that we knocked down we'll get rid of all that 
but yeah so this is the back of our property and then their farm just continues around it so for now this is what we got and we love it um big acre that we're gonna do a lot with so we're gonna get a new building put in there and get rid of those two eventually um but for now i'll go over there and show you what they look like and then we're gonna use this back uh we're gonna put a basketball court somewhere over here for the boys and we're gonna put some playground stuff there um later on so we'll show you all that but we have this big open yard that the dogs can run we're gonna have family over and have fun with <sighs> they're crazy dogs um and our little boys can grow up playing in the yard like i said you know ugh, dogs you're killing me like i said five to ten years maybe longer but that's just what we're kind of banking on now but we love it it's a pretty big house so a lot of room it's an older style house definitely an old house but older style so you know there's perks and pros and cons with that but we love it for now like i said i'll show you the inside another time that's another story for another time but here's these buildings it's got this big one and they put some siding on it before we got it but i'm cleaning it out now it's a mess and you can see when i get in here it's a huge disaster um so i put the dog's kennel in here for now just to throw it in there but i gotta clean all that out because they all go through there and pull all that junk out and i gotta clean up the yard like every other week so i gotta definitely clean that out which is coming soon um but other than that let me show you this other building and inside of it i'll show you our tools and stuff so i got a new pressure washer i can test that out if you'd like to see it i got this honda tiller that i love i can test that out for you um I got some awesome, awesome um, Atlas battery powered tools. This leaf blower is amazing. The weed eater is amazing. Um, I have my Husqvarna chainsaw that I've used in previous videos. So our new uh, bad boy zero turn that I can show you in the video of that. Yeah, so we got a lot of stuff that I plan on making videos for you all to test out and show you. But those are going to be individual videos that I can go through, go through and show you every little bit of how well they work um but stay tuned for that we're gonna decorate for all the holidays like you saw our halloween stuff um, so you'll get to see that as we go now there are some things we're gonna update like i said so we're gonna show you that as we go as well um, but some more quick things before i end this video I have some work to do towards the back of our house like this this is an old cistern um we don't want the boys to get hurt or anything here or our dogs so we want to cover that and maybe make a deck or a gazebo area here um, and then our sister or our cellar, sorry, um, is like right up against the door. So we don't know if maybe we're going to take this down and make another one somewhere else in the yard or if we're going to just keep it, but figure out something better to do here. Cause it's literally right up against the back door and it needs some updating, but I'll give you a quick peek inside. So here's the, the cellar here, pretty good spacious room. Um, <laughs> they left a bunch of, uh, wine bottles alcohol bottles jars things like that but i mean it's, it's actually in pretty good shape for how old it is so there's a little bit of that the dogs have dirtied up the side of our house um i did put this nice new screen door on and i had a doggy door on it but they never use it anyway so we don't even use that anymore um but yeah so there's a lot a lot going on and this is all for you all to take in because you've never seen any of this so far um it's been a long time like we had so much going on with the baby coming uh, leaving the cabin figuring out all of that <laughs> my son is really not happy with the dogs right now um, but, but we just had so much going on we had to figure it all out we had to get this thing in shape to live in because it hadn't been lived in in three years so it took a little bit to do that too which we're living in now it's in good shape um, but I do want to show you some things inside once it gets finished completely so we're still working on that but other than that I just want to give you a quick tour of our new home um, so I will post a picture of what it looked like without all the decorations here in a little bit. But anyways, that was just a general video. He's just mad at the dogs. That was just a general video of our new home. And uh, here's Morgan and baby T. He peed on me. <laughs> Tater bug. So both boys are crying right now. So yeah, stuff to get used to. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please hit this like and subscribe button so you can see all of our future videos of the new home the land, the farm, hunting, everything that we can do, especially our journey with our little boys, because uh, Houston, I'm going to have him in everything, and when Taken gets old enough, he'll be joining me in everything, so stay tuned for that, but anyways, I got a dog fence to bury, so we'll see you in the next video. Peace.